Mark, um, who are your main fancies here? Yeah, MK Dons for me here. One of, the, I think, one of the better bets out of you looking for all the divisions. I can't see MK Dons sort of being that far away from, from winning this division at all. They've been sort of knocking on the door, playoffs the last couple of years. They've got a good young manager in Carl Robinson. A very settled team defensively and in midfield. You know, been no sort of key departures. And then up front, they've added the goals of Ryan Lowe. That was... The main reason why they didn't gain automatic promotion last season, they, they lost Sam Baldock to West Ham, had to sell him, it was a big offer. and they, they really just sort of were filling holes for the rest of the season, couldn't find somebody that would score on 20 goals a season. I think if you look at Ryan Lowe, he's scored goals wherever he's been really. I mean, he's prolific at Berry and did a good job for Sheffield Wednesday too. Obviously, Sheffield Wednesday is spending a lot of money now and you, you know, know they, they deemed him surplus to requirements. But I think for MK Dons, he's a massive signing for them. They've also got... You know, people like Bowditch and you know Luke Chadwick. They've got players who can chip in, but they needed that main goal scorer, and I think they've got that now in Ryan Lowe. And if you're looking at sort of their main market rival, Sheffield United, for obvious reasons, no longer got Chet Evans in the side. He was so massively important to them last season. The season fell apart when he was sort of sent to prison there. And I think if you're looking at those two, I think Sheffield United are making the market for MK Dons a pretty confident selection for me. It looks um, we've. Three decent-sized clubs we got promoted last year in Charlton, Sheffield Wednesday and Huddersfield. It might be a year for someone like MK to yeah, make more I'll, of an impression. Yeah, well, but they had more to beat last year. Yeah, oh, well, without doubt, if you look at the last few years, you've had Southampton in there and Leeds and Charlton spent a lot of money. Sheffield Wednesday, Sheffield United, you know, and Brighton spent a lot when they went up as well. <laughs> They're always running into teams with bigger budgets. Now, I think you having a look at MK Don, certainly, if they're not the biggest budget, they're, they're one of the biggest budgets now. And, um, you know, money talks, I think you have a look in the Premier League for it, you can just see that, you know, the teams with the biggest wage bills usually go up and it's been the same in all the divisions, really. And, you know, ne there's no excuses now for Cole Robinson. He's had a couple of years to bed himself in. I do think he's a good young manager. He talks a good game anyway, and I can't see them being far away. A, a decent bet for me. Who do you think can challenge in that, James? Um, yeah, I, I can't argue with Mark's analysis. I don't think it's a, a vintage renewal. Um, I mean, we mentioned the, the big sides that got promoted last season. And um, I think Sheffield United are, are, are there to be shot at, at at the top of the market, really. I think MK Dons, as Mark said, very, very strong. But I saw, also think Swindon could, uh, could go very well. They won League Two at a canter last season. I mean... Um, you know, Paolo Di Canio obviously had, had to had to gel together a, a, a squad that he... It took him a while, didn't it? It, did, it took him up until about Christmas. And kind of, you know, from, from about December onwards, they were absolutely unbelievable in League Two. And we've seen, you know, I'm not sure if the, there is an enormous gulf between the two divisions. We've seen the likes of, of Bournemouth and Stevenage go very well... Um, Having, having been promoted. And I think Swindon have just got so much scope to, uh, to improve. Um, I like Notts County in this. I think they're a decent each-way poker, around 16-1. to um, They had a storming end to the last season. Um, only the two Sheffield clubs in Charlton got more points than them in the second half of the campaign. Shrewd manager and Keith Curl, they might have a bit of money to spend. I could see them going really well. So, uh, But... I, 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 I like you, Mark. I think MK can I, have a really good season. I don't think you want to be looking too far down the list here. I think sort of you know you got Notts County, Bournemouth, Swindon, Sheffield United, MK Dons, and Swindon. I don't think you. I'd, it'd be amazed really if it comes from somebody it outside look, the top six. Doesn't look to be that depth. No, really no, there isn't. It really isn't. It's it's been a graveyard division for punters <laughs> over the years. I mean, you have to go back. I think Birmingham uh, many moons ago, the last favourite. To actually win this division, so it's it's not it's not a trademark one for the favourites, but this year, I mean, if if one of the big guns doesn't win it, I'll be amazed. So the wrap up then, MK yeah, for I you. Yeah, MK Don. Each way, each yep. way bets are nothing. Paolo's boys for me, Swindon. And the Matt boys.